All right, hello class. All right, uh, welcome back to English 10. Uh, hopefully the last few assignments went smoothly, and today we're going to be starting a new one. Right. Uh, to get started, I'm uh, going to give you a big overview. Right? Today's class, we'll be starting to look at or starting a novel study. Okay. There should be a digital copy of the novel attached to this assignment. Uh, look in the assignment uh, instructions um, under Microsoft Teams. If you can't find it, there'll be a link to it, and I'll kind of go through uh, where to find it. Okay. It'll be a little bit awkward because you can have to read on your phone or device, but I think most people uh, should be able to get to it. Novel that we're... Uh, studying today is called The War Between the Classes. Okay? It's a novel that was published in 1985, so it's kind of old. It was set in the 1980s, uh, but it does still have some relevant themes and big ideas. Okay, uh, This is the title, I think, of the original novel when it came up, and they kind of came up with an updated version right here, where my mouse is. Right? We do have a class set of them in the school, right? uh, but unfortunately, obviously, you can't access them right now. Okay? So this is cover one. Uh, this is cover two if you're looking at the bottom corner there. Okay. Uh, the short version of the novel is that it's set in the 1980s and it's by author name of Gloria D. McClowitz. Okay. Uh, it focuses on the experience of a Japanese uh, American student called Amy, right? Amy Sumoto. She's taking part uh, in a project in her social studies class that simulates a bit of, of a game where there's kind of class divisions. Right? It's meant to be an allegory about classism, race, stereotypes, prejudice, discrimination. So even though the book's really a little bit old, it still has a lot of relevant things that we can still connect to today. But it is dated in some ways, but also somewhat kind of relevant. And I think there's some things that you guys can identify with. Right? The first day of this unit, um, we're going to be starting on this first assignment. Every for this unit, our novel study, we're probably going to be doing two assignments every week. I'm going to post one on Monday and the second one either on the Wednesday or Thursday. So we're picking up the pace of the course a little bit. So make sure you guys kind of keep up the best that you can. Okay. Phase one or step one of the first assignment is simply to answer these questions. We're trying to see if you can get some personal connections to the big ideas and themes of this novel. Okay. Uh, what are some of the rules at your home that you're supposed to follow? Yeah. Uh, who wears the pants? In other words, who's your parent or guardian that kind of runs things? Uh, have you ever been to a school dance before? If so, describe the last one you went to. If not, why not? Describe some cliques or social groups that is or uh, that exists or a, a high school has in general. Okay. I'm going to fix up the wording on this when I uh, put this online later. But what are some groups? Are they based on ethnicity, class, grades? So how can you describe maybe this school or schools in general? How do people often divide them? The reason why I have you guys deal with these questions is because they highly relate to the novel that we're going to be studying, The War Between the Classes. Right? So you should be able to access this Word document on Teams. I think most people now do this by now. You can edit the document online or download it and upload it later. Okay, I suggest if you haven't yet used Chrome, it's probably the easiest way to deal with it. Okay, once you're done that, try to keep all your answers on one page. The next section here has to do with the actual sign readings and the questions. First task is to answer these questions, then work on reading chapter one and two and answer these questions as they go along. I did my best to kind of put them all in order, even to have some of the page numbers there. Each chapter, I'm going to have you guys write a short definition for each the terms, and I'd like you to answer the rest of questions in kind of full sentences or full de or uh, detailed point form, kind of use your judgment, okay? For example, what does Adam's note to say, uh, note to Amy say? Well, that's kind of a direct quote, so it's going to be kind of a direct line from the novel. Describe Amy's neighborhood compared to Adam's. Well, maybe you could put this in point form. Amy's neighborhood is, then Adam's neighborhood is, okay? Well, this one's straightforward. Uh, what country is a Amy's family from? Her last name is Sumoto. So he's actually ethnically Japanese. So you can say uh, Amy's family is from Japan. Okay? Why is f uh, Amy's father so strict? Well, this one's going to be a little more complicated. So do your best to put as much detail as you can. And here, I just want you guys to summarize the events of Chapter 1. Detail point form is fine. Okay, that way, when you're kind of trying to study for some of our future assignments, kind of look back, you kind of have a set of notes to refer to. Okay? Chapter 2, same idea. Okay? Okay, now for actually accessing the novel itself. 
Most of you guys should have a copy of this uh, attached to the file. I made it as a PDF. I found a digital copy online. So if you go to the, um, uh, so how do they call it? Uh, resources for the assignment, it should be attached to it. If you can't or prefer to read it differently, what I've given you here is a Google Drive link. It's kind of different ways to do it. Open this. One, you can copy and paste it. I'm assuming most people know how to do that. If you're using your phone, you might just click on it. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to open it up from Word. Okay. Uh, you right click on it, depending on what type of system you're using, you're going to have to open up the hyperlink. Okay. Okay, there. I'll bring you to a Google Drive account where there's all the entire novels kind of broken down here. This file here is the entire novel. The rest of these is kind of broken up in different uh, chunks. Right? For example, your first assignment is chapter one. So here's chapter one. Right? And you just scroll and read through it. Right? And there's chapter two. Right? Right? Right, you can download it uh, as well if you want. Uh, you can click on this one. I'll get this entire whole entire novel, but you can't preview it. You have to download it. Okay. If you're using your phone, it might be a little bit different. You probably click on if you click on the link with your phone, it may show up like this. You go to chapter one, click on it, and boom, chapter one. Don't hit right because I'll bring you to chapter two. If you're on your phone, you actually just kind of scroll down, go to page two. Okay. Don't hit right because I'll go to chapter two. Okay. So that's how you would kind of access uh, the novel using the, the links here. Okay. I'm going to have a few days to work on this. Um, either Wednesday or Thursday, uh, I'll be posting up the next assignment where you have to read the next few chapters and I'll have another kind of a, a assignment that goes with that as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. So hopefully this makes sense. Any questions, concerns, please ask me. All right. If you want to summarize it a little shorter, answer all the questions, read chapter one and two, use the link or use the files I've attached. Right. Uh, so every uh, week we're doing a couple, probably uh, two assignments. Some of them are going to be bigger than others, and they're always going to be chapter questions. And you know me, I mark everything to make sure you guys are following along. All right. Uh, good luck. Hopefully you enjoyed the novel I did uh, when I read it when I was younger. So hopefully you will as well. All right. Thank you for your uh, thank you for your time. Take care.